Who is your father? Your father is who you act like. Your father is who you honor. Your father is whose will you do. Your father is who you copy, emulate. Your father is who you resemble. Who is your father? There are many who say that God is their father. But is he? Is he? Is God really your father? As the Lord Jesus Christ had chastised the people who had believed, who said they believed him. But they did not want to be free of sin. They were claiming heritage of Abraham. Many people today are claiming heritage of Christianity. They claim that they are in church. As though that is the basis. It's not the basis. You can go to church all your life and still go to hell. Who is your father? Is God your father? Do you look like him at all? Do you act like God? Do you honor God? Are you doing what he's telling you to do presently? Do you take instructions from God? That's what makes him your father. Do you love the truth? Many people are so, uh, so uh, enraptured by lies. Even when they see a glaring lie, they believe it. Because it, end, it, it ties in with the narrative that they want to hear. You are the devil, your father. That's how your father acts, the devil. He builds a narrative. And anything that comes, he's not even scrutinizing anything. He just says, yes, swallow it. Because we don't like somebody. When we hear even falsehood against the person, we cannot make an extra say, let us investigate this thing. We believe it. You just see people do all kinds of things. I've, I've, seen, I've seen tweets about scripture. I've seen tweets that challenge us to live for God you barely find five or ten comments. But let it be a rubbish tweet. You'll be surprised that uh, you see K at the, at the, at behind the numbers. Say, ah, 39,000 are responding to this thing. But let it be a gospel thing. Five, ten. If you get 25, you fantastic. Try it. Just write rubbish. You will get all the... That's what they do. Because they have their father, the devil. Even so-called Christians are making such responses because they have their father, the devil. Any pastor that places a comedian on the altar is of his father, the devil. Quote me anywhere. Any pastor who is busy engaging in trifling things is of his father, of his father the devil. In Malachi chapter 1, Malachi chapter 1, verse 6, this is God speaking. He said, a son honors his father and a servant his master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? If I am a master, where is my reverence? Says the Lord of hosts to the priests. Who despise my name. Yet say in what way have we despised your name. Let, let's scroll down to verse 12. In verse 12. God says. But you profane that is profane his name. In that you say the table of the Lord is defiled. And its fruit. Its food is contemptible. You also say. Oh what a weariness. And you sneer at it. Says the Lord. And you bring the stolen. The lame and the sick, thus you bring an offering. Should I accept this from your hands? Says the Lord. You say you're honoring God. And then you go and steal money and bring it to church and say you're giving an offering? Is, is God, has God's name become more like that in your eyes? You go and prostitute yourself. 
and bring the wages of prostitution to the house of God and say, God is your father? No. You are of your father, the devil. He's the one who does things like that. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. The Bible says, Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands having the seal. The Lord knows those who are His. God knows those who are His. He's not saying, I'm born again. I'm born again. I'm born again. But it doesn't mean anything. If you are not sanctified, you are unable, if you are not sanctified, by the way, you are unable to obey God. So if you are not sanctified, how do you obey God? How are you going to be a child of God? And then the, the writer says, And let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. If you cannot depart from iniquity, you are of your father, the devil. It's not about saying, God is my God. In fact, I hear very strange things these days. Many of you, you want to pray. In the name of the God of Pastor so-and-so, in the name of the God of Bishop so-and-so, your bishop, your pastor, your general of us here. That is the God that, that, that's how you are praying. When the Bible tells us, when God himself said, pray to me in the name of Jesus, what is difficult to say the name of Jesus? I thought that's a shorter thing to say than the name of the God of Pastor so-and-so. Who is that pastor? And the pastor is sitting down there and cannot correct it. He is of the devil. His father, that's his father. He's not of God. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1 to 3. God who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets has in these last days spoken to us by his son whom he has appointed heir of all things through whom also he made the worlds who being the brightness of his glory and the expressed image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. Speaking about the Lord Jesus Christ here. And I asked the question, God used to speak by the prophets. Today he's speaking by Jesus. Are you listening to Jesus? Are you heeding his word? If you cannot heed the word of Jesus, you are of your father, the devil. A child of God will always heed the word of God. A child of God is careful not to want to offend Almighty God. A child of the devil is careful not to want to offend the devil. If you are faced within, between telling the truth and telling the lie, and telling a lie, and you are concerned about what will happen if you tell the truth you of your father the devil because he does not dwell in the truth he hates it and by the way somebody might say that God made the world God made me yes you are a creation of God not a son of God a child of God is born by God in 1 John chapter 3, 1 John chapter 3, verse 9. 1 John chapter 3, verse, verse 9. The Bible says, Whoever has been born of God does not sin. For his seed remains in him. And he cannot sin because he has been born of God. A child of God cannot sin. He can accidentally offend. Of course, that's why we, we repent. But he cannot deliberately sin. If you can deliberately, you cannot accidentally rape a woman. You cannot accidentally put yourself in a, in a condition where you are sleeping with a man. You cannot accidentally steal money. You cannot accidentally murder someone that you have hated for a long time. You cannot accidentally speak against somebody that you envy. In John chapter 1, verse 12 to 13, 
The Bible says, As many as received him, that is Jesus, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. You must be born again. That's what Jesus told uh, Nicodemus in John chapter 3. Nicodemus said, shall I enter? My mother said, no, 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 no. We are speaking of a spiritual birth. It's not a natural birth. If you are born only naturally, you are of your father the devil. But when you are born spiritually and the seed of God remains, it remains, doesn't come and go, it remains, which means the spirit of God is in you. That's the deposit of God in you. The spirit of God is in you. You are heeding him. You are listening to him. You are heeding him. Then you are of your father, God. But if you are disobedient to the Holy Spirit, you are of your father, the devil. Oh, you can speak in tongues all you care. But if you are disobedient to the Holy Spirit, you are of your father, the devil. Who is your father? God's desire for everyone that is born again is that we will be like him. In Romans chapter 8 verse 29, Romans chapter 8 verse 29, the Bible says, For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the first among many brethren, we should be like Christ. So it's not enough to say, I'm, of, I'm, I'm a child of God. No, 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 no. The question is, do you obey him? Do you honor him? Do you regard his word as anything? Matthew chapter 5, verse 43 to 48. Matthew 5, 43 to 48. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. So that's what they said, though. God didn't say that. But I say to you, love your enemies. That's what God has been saying. Love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. And pray for those who spitefully use who powerfully use you and persecute you. If you can't do these things, you are of your father, the devil. He says that you may be sons of your father in heaven. If God is your father, you will love your enemies. If God is your father, you will bless. And you, and you, you will bless those who curse you. You will bless and not curse. If God is your father, you will do good to those who even hate you. If God is your father, you will pray for all men. Stephen, when he was being stoned, prayed and said, do not take this charge against them. How many of us can do that? Because you're of your father, the devil. He said, for he, that is God, makes his son, the son, the race of son, rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. God is not partial. If you are showing partiality, you are of your father, the devil. For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? You know, some of us, we say, look, do, do, do me, I do you. God, no go vex. Where, where did you see that? He said, if you love those who love you, please, what is the difference between you and the child of the devil? The child of the devil loves those who love them. The man who is killing other people, he loves his children. So what's the difference? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brethren only, what do you do more than others? Do not even tax collectors do so? What's the difference between you and the other people if you only greet certain people? Some of us decide that our denomination is the best thing that ever happened. We don't want to know anything about any other denomination. You have your father the devil, you don't know that. The pastor that is telling you to stay, stick to your denomination is of, your, is, of, is of the same father with you, the devil. In verse 48, it says, Therefore, you shall be perfect, 
just as your father in heaven is perfect. I've heard people say, you can never be perfect. You can if you are led by the Spirit of God. What is perfection? Perfection is doing what God asks you to do. That's all. Do it when he asks you to do it. Do it how he asks you to do it. You are perfect. Nobody's asking you to, that you will not, nobody's saying that you will not make mistakes. For example, if you ask your child to bring water for you, a little child, he wants to be helpful. In his, in his eagerness to bring, you know, literally, they, they don't walk, they, they run, even though they are, they are not strong enough. But they still run. And then he spills the water. At his level, we will consider it, his enthusiasm is okay. We, we can overlook his imperfection. His perfection is the fact that he was willing to help. The next time he will know better than to run because he has, he has made a mistake now. The next time he will not make that mistake again. He's perfect. But when you see a full grown man spilling water that way, you will get angry with him. Of course you will. And the interesting thing about God and us is that everything we need to be perfect, God has put in us by his spirit. So if we are not following the Holy Spirit, then we are not of God. 